Solid initiation. Okay. There's more of them. Do you think they'd be smart enough to find somebody hiding behind the door and lying on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> nope, the perfect hitman. What's up guys and welcome to Cosa Nostra, a game that as the title of this video suggests is made by the same people who made Sneak Thief. Now finding a game that is equal parts hilarious and awful is really hard to do, but Sneak Thief just struck that balance perfectly. And those are two adjectives that I would use to describe my own channel. So I get the feeling Cosa Nostra is gonna feel right at home here. And I think the idea is instead of being a thief, now we're in the Italian mafia. We're gonna do Italian mafia stuff. Location 1712 Hawk Lane, target Sam Williams who appears to be the child of Owen Wilson and a greasy love doll. Do not kill N.A. Wait, is that a double negative? Like, don't not kill him? So, do I kill him or do I not kill him? I'm gonna make a judgment call. I heard you need work. Well, you've come to the right place, but first you need to prove yourself. This one is simple, okay? This damn rat Sam Williams took out a loan at $2,500 from us. We expected payment from him at a value of $3,000 three weeks ago, but haven't heard from him since he took my money. I suspect he bought drugs with it. This rat thinks he can take money from me without paying me back? Go show him who he effed with and kill that little rat. He's probably at some crack house, so watch out for anyone who's armed. Good luck, Don Carbone. Considering that there are no IOU notices on this table, and I really doubt that all these guns are loaded with tickle bullets, there's a good chance that that was indeed a double negative and we need to kill this guy. So for my primary weapon, I am going to take the wood paneled camouflage sniper rifle. That way I can really blend in against trees, kitchen cabinets, sides of 1970s hatchbacks. <laughs> and for my secondary weapon, I'll take an Uzi. This is your escape vehicle. Come here once you complete your contract to complete the level. Okay, I have a nice car in this game, and I can't make out what that says, but it looks like a crack house to me. Fortunately, I have a scope and have been made out. Is he shooting at me? I think he's, oh, am I bleeding? He must have gotten all the tickle bullets. I can appreciate the fact that Mr. Williams would get a little bit defensive when seeing somebody walk down the sidewalk holding a sniper rifle, but fortunately, I'm now on my own property where I can do whatever the hell I want, okay? I have the right to bear arms. I have the right to read all of your floaty text. Some people may not take too kindly to you going places you shouldn't be in. It's best to take care of them beforehand. But like this? Is that it? I kind of expected more of a reaction, like police, or maybe the neighbors showing some kind of concern, the crack addicts getting off the mattress on the floor and peeking through their Detroit blinds, but I, I guess not. Okay, mission accomplished. Kill all targets before leaving. But I need to go in there and kill all of them, but oh, that wasn't him. Oh, I just killed some random dude out in front of a crack house. <laughs> You think it would be easy when they give me a picture, but no! It's times like these that I feel the need to point out that my gun shoots green. Why? Not really sure, not gonna ask questions. I was just kind of hoping that if I cause a ruckus, maybe Sam would come to the window, make my life a whole lot easier. Now we're gonna have to go with plan B of tricking them into thinking I'm a door-to-door -door Uzi salesman. With the Girl Scouts, excuse me, sir, can I interest you in a submachine gun or a Thin Mint, perhaps? <laughs> no? Yeah, if he was alive, he would have said yes to Thin Mint, so we know that he's done. No worries with him. Hello, Girl Scouts! This is what Girl Scouts do. They come into your house and they yell, Girl Scouts, I'm Canadian, I've never seen a Girl Scout before. Hello? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Well, prove me wrong. I said the mattress was going to be on the floor. This is your target. Kill him and then retreat to your escape vehicle to complete the level. Um, 
Are you okay? Seems to be tripping out on weed? We don't do that to you. It's like I said, I'm Canadian, and uh, I can tell you right now that we don't make your nipples look like that. <laughs> well, it's been fun. Tickle bullets, there we go. He's in better place now, and I think that's everything. Solid initiation, okay. There's more of them. Do you think they'd be smart enough to find somebody hiding behind the door and lying on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> nope! The perfect hitman. I feel quite safe up here, to be completely honest. Where'd your friend go? Something like that work for you? And now resume the position. Maybe reload? Oh, oh, yeah, try that again. And up we go! <laughs> this is why I love these games! Oh my god, it's too perfect. Okay, hold on, I don't want to miss here. There we go. Mission accomplished. Return to base, unless there's more of them. We're good. We're, we're, we're good. Okay, that was probably the upset neighbors. They finally got fed up, and I can't blame them. <laughs> now, let me get into my knockoff Camaro, and I escaped in a minute and 26 seconds. Not bad. World record? Maybe. This one is simple, okay? You can't F it up. One of our guys, not part of the family, but he was close, got pinched by the feds. The only person out of the family he talked to was his priest. He's not Catholic, so his priest isn't bound to a code of silence. That being said, his wife isn't very religious, so it could have been either of them who ratted him out. I want them both dead. There is no security, however, I want it to look like an accident, so no guns. That also means you cannot kill any member of the congregation. His wife will be easy. She likes to hang out in the garden during his sermons, but he will be visible to everyone. Good luck, Don Carbone. I know I should be focusing on the job, but all I can think of is who names their church the Bible Church of God. That's like naming your whorehouse the titty brothel of pussy. I know I shouldn't be paying attention to these things, but I gotta ask, why is my car the only one in the parking lot? This is going to be a very interesting sermon, right? They said that there was going to be a congregation that I can't kill, and unless everybody walked here through the holy walls... There's also a lot of birds chirping, considering that it's just flat terrain, but I'm really curious about this. Really? Huh. Who would have guessed that a church looks like a dick from the point of view of Satan? They really weren't kidding around when they said that I couldn't bring any guns. I, I kind of figured I would get to choose, like, a non-gun weapon. You know, like a knife or a baseball bat. Come to think of it, if I'm supposed to make it look like an accident, I probably can't use a baseball bat, can I? <laughs> Very rarely do people fall on a baseball bat over and over and over again. This is a great sermon, by the way. I'm just on the edge of my seat right now with uh, the other... Three people in the crowd. <laughs> Look at this steely resolve on their copy-pasted faces as they worship. Maybe I can kind of liven up the party. What if I uh, do just a, a little something like uh, this? Yeah, I could just sit on your head. How about that? I'm the holiest hat of all. I thought this was a glitch last time, but I really do crouch that low. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to be teabagging you, old holiest of... Daddy's fa father father. I don't mean to teabag you father, but like I'm pretty much so low that my chin is on the ground <laughs> It's really weird. I don't know why oh There's a ladder That might be of use don't mind me sir. Just uh, you know getting the devil shaken out of me So that there must be the wife, but I don't understand how she's supposed to be an easier target like, I can appreciate the fact that she's out there by herself, so there are no witnesses, but I don't have a weapon, so how am I supposed to kill her? <laughs> like, do I just feed her too much cholesterol? Do I rip off her life alert and throw her in the fountain? That might work. What if we, uh, snap neck? Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't expect that! Uh, well then, I just used my mind powers to break her neck, uh... Listen, God, she was a bad person, okay? She... She had it coming. I got a ladder to get to, right? That that looks interesting. 
Here I was, thinking Stretch Armstrongs were made out of rubber and corn syrup, and it turns out it was made out of old lady necks. <laughs> Who would have guessed? This is a very educational game. I'm up on the roof now. Oh, okay, I can kind of parkour my way up, and I'm guessing I need to probably land on you? No fall damage. Okay. Am I gonna pile drive him from up here? What the hell is supposed to happen? <laughs> this does not make any sense. You know what? We're not gonna talk about how long I've been roaming around in the rafters of this church like some kind of dollar store Batman to finally figure out that I can interact with whatever this is. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, don't worry, citizens. I have saved you. <laughs> Scratch that. Jesus saved you. That guy just got a torso full of Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. I need to stop saying that, okay? God, I'm sorry. He had it coming. I'm pretty sure it was the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, subsection 3, paragraph 18, line 4, that read something along the lines of, Snitches get stitches. I'm not sure how many stitches that would require, but... <laughs> That's really up to the Lord, okay? I I'm just gonna leave that there and run for my car. Yes, you can all keep screaming in unison as you duck in terror. Like, that's gonna change anything. There's not gonna be a second crucifix falling from the sky. <laughs> Three minutes and 42 seconds. That one took a little bit longer. Antonio and Chano are two men under Don Rizzo. Normally considered untouchable, they have recently begun a small racket moving dope. Don Rizzo and the rest of the commission understand that this is encroaching on my territory. However, due to their connection with Don Rizzo, the hit was not approved, so this one may be a little difficult and also why I can't send my usual men. Antonio and Chano always eat at Don Rizzo's restaurant after 8pm every night, assuming they're safe there. Fortunately, the place is crawling with Rizzo's men. Carry out the hit however you please, but going in guns blazing isn't recommended. Good luck, Don Carbon. I get the feeling I'm not going to be doing too much sniping inside of a restaurant, so I'm going to take the classic Tommy gun and back it up with a shotgun. I think it's pretty safe to say that killing people earns you a lot of money. Right, like supply and demand is just off the charts. There's a whole lot of people that want people dead, not a whole lot of people willing to do it. But I'm pretty sure I pissed away most of my money making my car look like some kind of knockoff Batmobile. <laughs> Which doesn't really work out. I'm not being indiscreet because this parking lot is well lit and once again completely empty. Like, do people not drive in this world? Has ever just walked to Papa Rizzo's Italian cuisine? Can I go in? You guys are gonna lose your mind if I take a step in right now? Right, it's a restaurant. People should be able to walk in and uh, request a table. Yes, I would like a table next to Antonio and Chano. Yeah, hopefully a table within choking distance, I guess. I, I don't want them to choke me, okay? <laughs> not into that kind of thing, but I'm not allowed to use guns, so I'm gonna have to figure something out. All these people look the same. I have... No sweet clue where they are. Um, Chano? Antonio? Ladies, can I uh, maybe stuff your crust? Don't worry about it, I found them, okay? I know this is a little bit awkward, me standing over them, but them just breathing heavily is awkward as well. <laughs> so we have Antonio and his four friends who all ordered a regular size pasta bowl, and then Chano ordered a cigarette and a pizza to himself. <laughs> you fat asshole, Chano. Okay, I need to figure out how I'm gonna murder you guys. I'm gonna go out back. Maybe there's something of interest here? Ooh. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna be at all like Hitman. Do you think I can maybe convince them to go to the bathroom to get choked out what the hell happened back here i didn't do that i showed up in the batmobile uh i don't suppose he just slipped and fell on this did he oh wait a second and i no wait i have guns right i don't i don't need to take your gun i have my own guns so what the hell is this about <laughs> i'm really confused right now i'm gonna go back inside and Come up with something. 
So there doesn't seem to be any way for me to interact with the toilet or the sink, and I don't have a reflection, so I don't think this is going to be of much help. Jesus Christ. <gasps> you are terrifying! What's up, Zuckerberg? Why are you just hiding in here, dimly lit and creepy as hell? Oh, that is just unsettling to say the least. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> I didn't see your friend over there. Why are the kitchen staff so creepy? Uh, man, these these brothers, these these twins, they're they're not. Okay, but they're doing good work, right? Those didn't have toppings on them a second ago, did they? Huh. So I guess they are working with their minds, maybe? Who knows? Is there anything in here for me? <gasps> Equip disguise. That might be of use. Can I dress like you? Are you gonna get pissy? I'm just gonna do a pine to you. Something like... Am I disguised? I can't see my body. How do I look? Like you? I'm just gonna stand here in the corner for a few seconds, then I'll just blend right in with the rest of them. What if I equip all of the disguises? I'll just wear, like, 15 black shirts and pants and shoes. <laughs> Super indiscreet. Now, I, I guess I can do their work? Right? Like, can I take a pizza out to them? Here's what I'm thinking we do. Okay, we shit on the pizza. Now follow me on this. And then that's going to make them sick. They're going to go to the bathroom, and then we can choke them out, I guess. I, I swear, I don't have a thing for choking. It's just, you know, it's a hitman thing. <laughs> I just, I can't take the pizzas. D do I need to do training? Pizza grabbing training? I don't get it. We could take the wine. We could take the poison. Oh. Can I po I can't poison a pizza, but I do have poison now, so that's a, a thing, I guess. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, we're doing this, we're doing this. Th this is happening now. <gasps> I, is that me? <gasps> I wanted to see if I could take the poison out of my inventory, and it turns out they don't like it when you pull a shotgun out of your ass. Let's try that again. We're gonna put on all of the disguises, we're gonna take the poison, then we're gonna bring it out to them? I guess we can serve it to them as if it's wine? Would that make sense? Can I, uh, poison food? Yeah, okay. You can have some poison food, you can have some poison food, and you, and you. There's a whole lot of poison to go around. Can I just poison everybody? Can I poison you guys? <laughs> like, the family of eight that came here for, for, for Sarah's wedding? Oh, oh! Poison is just a little bit too slow. As soon as two of them flopped over, they were like, I think something's wrong with this food. We take the poison, and this time around, we only poison our targets, and then we probably run, right? But imagine we're gonna need to run. We're gonna poison you, we're gonna poison you, and then we're going to go wait in the bathroom, right? I'll make a last stand in the bathroom. How about that? I wanna make sure that they're dead. Need to confirm a kill. No, no, no. Okay, I'm in the corner now, and as we have learned, you, no, no, you can't, you can't do that! You... See, this is what happens when you fight crack addicts versus trained bodyguards. <laughs> they know how to shoot down! No hard feelings, guys, but I'm getting just a little bit pissed off with the whole poison thing, so how about we just, uh, do that? There we go. Did that tip off anybody inside? I I'm not hearing any yelling, but I'm feeling shooting. Who wants some? Huh? <laughs> Found them! Found all of them! I wonder if only the bodyguards chased me. Could I have run around, killed Chano and Antonio with the little demented version of Ring Around the Rosie? There's only one way of finding out. We're just gonna mow you guys down, make a run for it. They should be coming out the front door any second now. And then we're gonna go in through the back. Something like this. Right? And, uh, oh, oh, no, 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 that, that was a pedestrian. That was a random pedestrian. My bad, my bad, but I should have all these. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't get into a shootout. It's too much. Now, it's like I said, no hard feelings, okay? Forgive and forget. I'm just gonna go get that poison and try again. I guess I just have to poison them and then run to my car, right? Technically, they're dead. It's just disappointing. I want to see them keel over. Put on all the disguises, grab all the poison, run out here, poison your food, and poison your food. Now they're both as good as dead. Now I run for the car, close the door, 
Wait, there we go. Run for the car. He should keel over any second now. And ow, 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 I'd like to leave. I would like to leave. Are they not dead? They should be dead. Hey, you guys, your bosses are dead. You're not getting paid, okay? Your 401ks are over with. Please, 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 no. No, don't go through my car. Don't go through my car. I like, I like that car. I feel like that should have worked, but I'm seeing another way of going about this. What if I poison your food, poison your food, and then I go put on one of the other disguises, even if it's the exact same clothes? Would that make a difference? I'm going to stand over here, like the third twin, and just not move. No, no, you guys are mistaken, okay? I'm... Son of a... It really does feel like my only choice is to poison the food and then leg it, right? I can make a last stand behind the car. I don't think they hit me. At least they don't have a very easy time hitting me. So maybe now I can get you guys and then we'll duck and reload. Wait for everybody else to kind of pile out and then mow them down. There we go. Oh, 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 no, no, don't, don't go, don't go in my car, don't go in my car. I don't appreciate that. Get away. Get out of my car. <laughs> That's everybody, isn't it? Right? Oh, you guys just... <laughs> He's having little mafia dreams. <laughs> oh my god, that is too funny. He is dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, well, I think I did a pretty good job. I don't even believe I concerned anybody inside, right? Everybody's good. Some people are good. Some people are concerned. Others, not so much. Ma'am, you have blood on your face, and you don't seem to care. <laughs> Everybody else is freaking out. When did you die? Huh. Okay. I should be able to leave now, shouldn't I? I'm just completely out to Yeah, you're both dead, right? You died? Hmm. Well, oh, maybe I need to get you guys? Yeah, maybe, oh yeah, you guys know, they, they, they work here. They, they weren't necessarily bad guys. <laughs> My bad. Are you not dead? No, you're definitely dead. I, I, maybe the car will take me now. No, maybe I just need to go inside, tip my waiter, pay my bill, that kind of thing, and we're good to go. Please, car, please. There we go. <laughs> Stupid game, man. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Cosa Nostra, guys. And as expected, this game is very much like Sneak Thief. And when I say that a game is awful yet hilarious, I don't mean that to kind of crap on the developers. Like, I just wanted to say that it takes a lot of work to make a game, and full credit to the developers. Every time there's been a bug in one of their games, when it's pointed out to them, they fix it. Like, they're actually developing the game and adding stuff and just trying to make a good experience here, and I appreciate that. It made me laugh multiple times. It's just funny when you can crouch on the floor so low that people can't shoot you, and then you teleport on top of them and then fall off the map. And it, it's just, it's what I love in video games, okay? I've got my money's worth because it made me laugh, and there's more to it. So if you guys want to see more, be sure to leave a like in this video, let me know, and I'll return for more story soon. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.